Hey, what's up? It's Josh, and I'd like to introduce everyone out there on the internets to the newest addition to our family. This is Sophia. She's almost three and a half months old. Say hi. And uh, this is certainly an exciting and very positive change to my life, to our family's life. Uh, but it's also part of the reason I've been uh, less active on social media and producing less videos. It's certainly a uh, very positive change, but it makes you reflect also on what's important to you and where you want to invest your time. And that's what I wanted to talk about in this video. So as you can imagine, it's quite an adjustment having a, a new baby in the family, but it has made me reflect on a few things uh, that I wanted to talk about in this video because it's been a great growing experience for me, a great learning experience. And I think there's a few things that uh, those of you watching uh, could also reflect on and benefit from. One of the big considerations for me is that I have to be smarter about how I manage my time. This has forced me to prioritize, to really reflect on what's important for me in my life. Um, and so something that I've, I've done is to make a list of where I spend most of my time and then rate those activities from like a 1 to a 10, 1 being it's not very important to me and 10 being like it's in alignment with my highest calling. It's really, I'm really passionate about it. I'm trying to just focus on what's essential. Like Bruce Lee said, hack away at the unessential. It's not the daily increase, but the daily decrease. So I'm trying to focus more of my energy and time on those things that are closer to a 10 than a 1. For me, for example, that would be uh, making time for meditation, still getting my workouts in, paying attention to my sleep and my nutrition as best as I'm able, and time with family. So mental, physical, emotional health, and family. So if it doesn't line up with one of those priorities, I try to put that out of my schedule. So this is a recommendation I'd make for anybody. Just no matter how busy you are, and most of us do tend to be busy, look at where you're spending your time. Are you wasting a lot of time on Netflix or on social media? Um, are you indulging in foods that don't really make you feel great in the long run? Um, and what sort of time are you putting towards the things that you're really passionate about? Also look at what your long-term goals are. Do you have any big goals or aspirations and are you working towards them? Are you allotting time to move towards those goals? Uh, that being said, even if you can't devote 100% of your energy or attention towards those goals or towards those activities that you want to uh, spend time on, your priorities, the essentials, always think about the phrase, always something versus all or nothing. So if you can use that as sort of a motto for your life, uh, I find this with a lot of my personal training clients, is that when they can't adhere to a program 100%, they sort of give up on it. And this happens over the, uh, the holidays as well. I find that people get a little busy or they get distracted. And they're like, well, I'm not following my diet 100%, so just forget it. I'll resume later. I'll, I'll get back to it down the road. Or I don't have time to train the way I planned on, so I'm just going to, I'll just drop my training program altogether. And instead of making small steps forward, they move backwards. And so this is something to consider. Even, if, even slow progress is still progress. So even if you're doing as much as you're able to do, you're still going to move slowly forward. So always something versus all or nothing. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, do post them down below. And until next time, stay fit.